Happy Friday, y'all. It's Tammy with Embellish the Story, and I thought we would do a fun Friday project with these beautiful photographs and this, these two beautiful kits. Everything I'm using today comes from Samfield Designs, except for an index card. So all the paper is from Samfield Designs. Uh, the photographs are from our Shabby Photograph Kit, and the back card I cut from her French haberdashery kit. So I, I just really enjoy using these and this is the second video I think I've featured her things because I'm in love with these shabby vintage cards. They're just everything I love. So let's get started and we're just gonna make this little, it's, this is like a journaling card that I tucked, I made a little tuck on this card and it'll tuck inside there and it could be used as just a journaling card but we'll look at other ways we can use it because I was thinking that could be several things so I'm going to set this aside and I have um, cut this um, journal card for about four and a half by three and a half is about what I cut it this bottom one and then this I just cut out the small photograph in her kit and then I just tore a piece of paper that is as wide as this card and about an inch long. So it's just about an inch. And the first thing I'm going to do is put down my biggest lace piece. So here's a lace piece, and some people have asked me where I got my laces, so I'm gonna to try to remember to tell you. This one I found at actually an antique store near me that I just love to go. I, if I just have a day and I need to just kinda do a me thing, I'll go down there and look around, and I found some really cool things there. So I'm just gonna lay this down, and I'm gonna lay it where the finished edge is kind of sticking above the card. If my glue will come down. If you hear um, a machinery equipment piece, right when I started this, the neighbors are having some work done. So <laughs> if you hear that, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna lay this little piece of lace down. And it's going to kind, of, and so it's kind of protruding above that piece of paper. And then the next thing I'm going to do is put this down on the bottom. And I didn't really care for that trim on this piece, so I'm going to cut that off. The other thing I did to this piece of lace is it was it's very white, and so I just took my antique. Well, linen I think that's the name of the Tim Holtz ink and I just brushed it on there so it gave it a more vintage stained look so I'm just gonna cut the trim that topper off and I'm going to put it right there do y'all hear that bottom and then and I got that trim at like Hobby Lobby or Joann's just at a store like that and then I have this doily and I probably got this at the same antique shop or it just could have been a doily that I had here and I cut the edge off. I've cut a lot of this doily. I really love using them and you can get a lot out of one. So I'm just going to put this in the corner. Right here. And I just 
turn the finished edge where it's protruding on the outside corner of the tuck. Right, and then I have this pretty applique. This is a really pretty applique. I, if you see some really pretty laces, they probably come from Crafty Me Shop, and she has Facebook sales. And so this is a beautiful applique, and I cut pieces off it, so I will use this forever. And it has these little leaves, and I didn't really want a leaf. It would have been fine, but I just kind of wanted a piece. So I just cut it where it looks a little bit less like a leaf. And I'm just going, it still kind of looks like a leaf, but it's fine. And I'm just going to put this down here. And because I kind of always like to, I love to add just a little bit of pearls or a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to lay that down there. And I do go back and glue this better after the video. I just feel like you probably don't want to watch me hassle with the glue. All right. I do have to glue these before I start. And then sometimes I have to go because the beads and the sequins will come off. And then some, like I'll have to go back in and put a little glue under this to make sure that pearl doesn't fall. All right. So I have the base done and now I'm just going to add the bow and I just tied a little bow out of some chiffon silk and I'm going to put it right here. All right, so there it is. The other thing I did to this one is I added little pearls in the center of these flowers. And so I just have a collection of pearls. This is, I have a big container and it has all sizes of pearls. And I use the tiny little ones. These tiny little ones here, I don't know if you can see them. So I use the tiny little pearls to um, put in the center of the flower. And so I'll do that after the video because I'm sure you know how to just put a dab of glue and then put on a pearl. So there is the little tuck. And I have cut that four and a half by three and a half card. And I'm just gonna put glue at the very top and glue it to the top of the card. See where my... I don't glue it all the way down because I do want to leave a place to tuck the smaller card. So that's the bigger card in the back. And it'll just tuck out. We're just going to tuck the little girl inside there. So here's my little girl. And she's sweet. She's so sweet. And, um... I'm going, I made this one by tearing a piece of background paper, but for the little girl, I'm just going to use an index card that's been coffee stained. So for her, I'm just going to use this index card and then I'm going to put it in here to see about where it needs to where I need to put the image. All right, so I need to put the image about there. Because we want her to show when it's tucked in. So we wanna see her. So I'm just gonna put it about right there. And then this, and this index card is a five by three or three by five. And so that's the size. It's just the regular standard size index card. And then it's a little long. So I'm just going to turn it and trim it. All 
All right. And since I rounded these corners around it, I'll I'll go back and I'll round the corners of the bottom of the index card. Alrighty. So on this one, I decorated the bottom, this little photograph spot. So I want to decorate. I'm going to do the same thing on her. This is a piece of eyelet trim. And I'm not sure where I got this one. And I'm just in it. And it had an edge that kept it ruffled. So I just cut that edge off. And I'm just going to lay this down right here. I also took my antique linen because this was really white and stained it a little bit. All right, so I'm going to glue this down. And I don't really worry about where it falls. I just kind of let it go naturally wherever it wants to go. And then I put a little button at the left. And it is kind of plain there, but when you tuck it in, it doesn't look plain anymore. And also, I don't want it to be bulky up there because I want to um, keep this as thin as possible. I'm definitely going to have to glue a, to glue that pearl on well. So that is the little index card. And here we can see the difference between where I tore the back and where I used an uh, index card on the back. Or that's the little journal card, excuse me. And this one kind of has a cleaner look, and this one has a little bit more shabby vintage look. But they're both really, really pretty. And I was thinking, well, how could we use this? So I just got out a page that I, this is just an eight and a half by 11 page that I folded. And it would really just be pretty in the center of the page and you could pull the journal card out. I would, it could be a tuck where I only glue down maybe two sides and then I could put something else in here. And then I love glassine bags. I just think I, this one's been a um, tea stain and this bag is four and a half by six and it could just decorate the front of a glassine bag, put the glassine bag on the page and then there's stuff for, there's room for something fun to go in there. So there's several ways to use this little idea. Oh, I'm sorry. There goes the dog. And they're super, they're not, they're super fun to do. And I think they're really pretty on a page. So I want to thank you for joining me again. And I really do hope you have a beautiful day. And before I leave, thank you for everyone who's left sweet comments. Y'all are a beautiful community of ladies that I'm just really blessed to find. So, y'all have a great day. I hope you have fun making this little journal tuck. It's a journal card tuck. And always remember to embellish the story. See you soon.